today. From Commander's Field in Landover, Maryland. This is the National Football League. Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from Commander's Field here in Landover, Maryland. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. set to put his foot into this one and off we go in our nation's capital and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and able to get this out to the 25 so the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here and it's the rookie Jaden Daniels the number two overall pick leading the way and he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special, a dual threat athlete at the quarterback position, beats you with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in a position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Running on first down, Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now they go play action. Daniels. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Daniels looking to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. 
As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made it their first round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Up the middle with Eckler. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Here's Daniels. That's to the speedster, Alameda Zacchaeus. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And his throw here is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and 10. Off the play fake, Daniels. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The rookie from LSU leading this offense well. A good throw there leads to a first down. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Working out of the gun, Daniels. This will be caught at about the six. Touchdown, Washington. Zach Ertz from 10 yards out. And the Commanders are on the board first here this afternoon. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you at points scored, they're pretty tired right now. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. ready and here we go as he sends this one away. Gunnar Olszewski bringing it out. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Giants offense ready to go to work and they'll do so behind Daniel Jones in his sixth season now out of Duke. And he's coming off an injury-shortened season where he played in six games, going one and five over that span, with just three total touchdowns on the year. But the Giants have a lot of confidence in him. They didn't draft a quarterback this year, and they're looking for him to bounce back and prove that last year was an anomaly. Yeah. 
Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. They'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Now Jones. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. Two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They've got the seven to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. They started on the ground with Eckler. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Buying time to his left. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a third down in less than a yard. Throw is Daniels. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. On first down, here's Daniels to throw. Throwing it Terry McLaurin's way again, and he's got it. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. From the 
the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and he'll get it down here to the 43. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 13 yards there at a Washington first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now is Daniels. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 10 more there and another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Daniels now to throw on first down. He'll get this to, and the ball is knocked out, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? Uh, I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Daniels now on first and ten. Touchdown! Terry McLaurin from ten yards out. And the Commanders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. The York on now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. The 
York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Meanwhile, Jones throw taken in by Slayton. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. Jones. This one to Slayton over the middle. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 41 yard line. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. On first and 10, Jones. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll look to throw again. Able to locate his man Slayton on an out route. And out of bounds right around the 20. It'll be a gain of five. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Again, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Okay, now a first and 10 at the 11. to throw again 
And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. The play fake. Jones. This is caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. On third down, they go with Singletary. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Gano's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just gotta take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. Knocking through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. A first down throw for Daniels. This is swung out to Eckler. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Usually the offense hasn't answered anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. Here's second and 10. To the air goes Daniels. Completes to Zacchaeus. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A final shot before break. Daniels on the screen. This is Eckler. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the commanders on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and six, just inside the 30. Singletary here running out of the gun. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Jones. Flush to his right. Now he's loose at the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there a big pickup on third down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. A pretty decent gain on the tough run before he's brought down at the 25. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Just what they need a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw. Jones, that one taken in by Neighbors. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Third and two. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Gano's kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to six now.
So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. And let's get the ball back for us. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And it wisely just take a knee here. This ball will come out to the 30-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Daniels. Over the middle, it's complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Two yards still to go, third down now. Once more, here's Eckler. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'd say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game, they may want to file that one away. See how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because They've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And 
This offense on third down today, a perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Back to throw, Daniels. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw, Daniels. This one caught by Crowder. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 13 yards there on a Washington first. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. Wiggles free. He'll take it inside the 25. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 24 now, here's a second and eight. to throw. Daniels. Crowder's got it over the middle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 14. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Quick slant to Crowder. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. On second down, it's Daniels. Touchdown, Washington. Jamison Crowder from six yards away. And the Commanders have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. A York now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was all capped off on the touchdown reception by Jamison Crowder. this one away that's going to be taken at the goal line and he'll return it and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 the New York set to take the field they've been settling quite a bit they've been able to move the football some but they've just been settling that's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard I love that word you picked settling because Nowadays, in this NFL, you're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high-powered. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. 
Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. Here's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. Again, it's Johnson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And Johnson is one of those players that I expect to get better and better during his time in the NFL. Long and rangy, a really good catch radius in his pre-draft process, one of the best ones out of the tight ends. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And it's and now the rookie's free. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts him in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Let's go. Now a first and ten at the 11. Following the fumble recovery, Daniels. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Giants are right back in this football game. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. So now Jones and the Giants down by 15. 2.08 on the clock. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Over the middle, taken in by neighbors. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that, as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now second and four. Back to throw. Jones. This is Robinson. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Jones. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Now Jones connects with Slayton. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
A big play here as the crowd noise rises. Third and one. Here's Jones. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. Well, they're not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down. They're not out of this, but they've got to move. The two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. Jones throw complete there to Johnson. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's second down and three. To throw is Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. With the score where it is, this was probably going to be four down territory if they didn't convert there. But what a nice job of working his way open, making sure he secured the catch, and setting up first and goal. Here's first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point try, good by Gano, as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And this will be recovered by Washington, and that should just about do it. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. 
Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory, so this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you and I both know that is not true. Division rivals, you want to take care of business, not just at home, but against a team that you really don't like very much, too. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.